The coronavirus is unlike anything in our lifetime, and we continue to learn new information about it. Dr. Eric Mendenhall, genetics professor at UAH, joins us now. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. Happy to be here, Elijah. We often hear the words coronavirus and COVID-19 used interchangeably. Describe the connection between the two. Yeah, so coronavirus is a family of viruses. There's seven of them now. Uh, and COVID-19 is just the newest uh, identified version of this virus. How is the virus that causes COVID-19 different from other coronaviruses? Yeah, that's a great question also. So the other coronaviruses, um, there's about four of them that just cause the common cold. And each of these viruses would have just slight genetic differences between them. And so that makes them uh, more susceptible to infecting us and gives us different symptoms that our immune system responds to. So four of these just cause symptoms very similar to a common cold. One of them is SARS, as many of you guys remember, happened uh, to arise in 2003 era. And this caused very similar symptoms to COVID-19 and was spreading throughout a number of uh, nations in the, in the world, but only about 800 people died from it. Uh, the last one that we know about is called MERS, which is a Middle Eastern respiratory virus. And again, it spreads and can infect humans and it has a fairly high mortality rate of about 30%. But it doesn't, um, it doesn't spread very easily. So you, there's only been, again, about 800 people that have died with it. So the differences between each of these forms of viruses goes down to their genetics and the slight differences between them that give them different um, characteristics when they, when they infect us. We also hear the virus called a novel virus. Explain what that means. Why is COVID-19 novel? Yeah, so novel, uh, novel coronavirus just means one that we've not seen before. And so COVID-19 uh, first was identified in about December in, in China, obviously. And at first, the doctors and the, and the scientists didn't know what they saw. But when they sequenced the genome or they sequenced the RNA genome of this virus, they could tell it was a coronavirus, in fact, and it was one that had not been seen before in either animals or humans. And that is what makes it novel. It has new genetic differences that had not been seen before in other coronaviruses. So is COVID-19 more contagious than the other coronaviruses? Uh, yes, yes. And it's more contagious than SARS and, and MERS, the two ones that uh, can kill people. I'm not positive if it's more contagious than the ones that cause the common cold, um, but it certainly is more contagious than the other forms of coronavirus that we had circulating in the, in the last couple decades. We also often hear COVID-19 compared to the flu. People like to make those comparisons. What are the big differences between the two? Yeah, there's a, there's a number of big differences. One, the, the common flu infects a lot of people. It's also fairly robustly spread between people by sneezing and coughing and, and can spread uh, quite quickly through the population. Um, but the common flu doesn't kill very many people. It, it really uh, only has a mortality rate of 0.001% or, or incredibly low. And it's very seasonal. So it comes and it goes in a, in a very defined window of time. Uh, coronavirus kills way more people than that. So the, the flu, the H1N1 flu, uh, is estimated to have infected over a billion individuals in 2010 era, um, but ended up only killing, you know, a, a small percentage of those affected individuals. That, while coronavirus is uh, killing one or two percent, is the current estimates, um, and spreads just as rapidly as the flu. And because we don't know how to clinically treat the coronavirus quite yet all, all the way. There's new symptoms and new strategies doctors are uncovering. Um, it makes it a little bit more of an unknown enemy that we uh, need to learn how to tackle. Will COVID-19 become a seasonal problem like the flu? Well, I sure hope not. And we don't know yet. We don't know enough about this uh, virus. We don't know all the aspects of the virus. The SARS did end up coming back the following season, um, but it was very a very weak attempt at coming back and it, and it went away with really not much of an of a issue. Um, so there's a, there's a chance coronavirus will come back uh, next winter or next fall when the flu virus comes back around, um, but we just don't know that yet. And we don't even know if it's going to necessarily go away this summer because of uh, rising temperatures and stuff yet. 
Any other important information that you can provide? We really uh, have to have a lot more research and until we have that research and uh, these are clinical trials with antiviral therapies that are going on now, clinical trials with vaccines, until we give the scientists and the medical doctors time to do this research and come to sound scientific conclusions, it's really up to all of us to try and prevent the spread of this, whether you think you might be infected, go get tested, isolate yourself. Um, and if you're not infected, uh, wear masks out in public and practice good social distancing, because that's really what's going to stop the flu from spread or stop the coronavirus from spreading until we can come up with better strategies for effectively treating it in our clinics and hopefully get a vaccine against it. Dr. Mendenhall, thank you so much for your time tonight. Thank you very much, Maya.